afternoon everyone so today we're going to discuss another sample format of a police report particularly coordination report so as you can see i skipped uh based on the list ano, i skipped some i skipped some police reports because i think uh those reports are a very self-executory so madali lang naman siya so we are now going to proceed with coordination report okay so just bear with me this would be just a brief discussion but this is very important i know so first let's have an overview about uh coordination report okay so as a general rule kasi no police operation shall be conduct shall be conducted without proper coordination diba as what we have witnessed last time yung sa I don't know eh parang may, di ba, may nabalitaan tayo sa news before the misencounter tapos sinasabi nila na yung sa misencounter I don't know what particular place but somewhere I, I think somewhere in Mindanao may misencounter no napatay ng mga police yung mga uh I don't know if you're particular with that. Eh. Mga poli- basta mga polis yung mga nakapatay sa mga military yun eh. Nakasakay sa Montero. And then accordingly, yung mga, yung mga nakasakay sa Montero na yon, although they are wearing civilian, nagsisurveillance sila dun sa lugar para hum- hulihin yung mga NDA. Tapos, ayan, nagkaroon ng shootout, napatay ng mga polis yung mga militar na accordingly ay mga intel or mga asset ng ng government. So, coordination is really, really very important. So, the team leader of a local police unit operating outside the territorial jurisdiction, yan, shall coordinate personally or through this uh, coordination form ano, before conducting their operation. So, prior to launching of the operation, they must... Uh, prepare this coordination report. They must prepare a proper coordination except if it is not practicable to do so. For example, uh, immediately, kailangan ng action and you have no time to prepare a coordination report. Then, yon mga exceptions yon. But as a general rule, if you are going to operate outside of your jurisdiction, for example, PNP Gapan ka, and uh, yung pag-respond mo ay sa sa kabanatuan. You have to make proper coordination. Ano? So, that's very, very important. Una, of course, so that uh, that that place, yung mga naka-assign sa place na yon na out of your jurisdiction, they can assist you. And they will know what's happening. Katulad nga na may mga mis-encounter na walang proper coordination. Minsan, di ba? magkakaroon ng conflict. Alright, so, let's start, no? Let's start this discussion about coordination, coordination report. Okay? So, dito, sa taas, lagi naman yan, PNP Gapan. Coordination for unit, um, for example, Gapan City Police Station. Yan. Date and time kung kailan yung coordination. For example, today. Let's say, what date is it today? October 25, 26, sorry. 2021. place of operation, sabihin natin kabanatuan. For example, uh, daang sarili. Kabanatuan City. Team leader, imbeto na lang tayo. Let's say, 
PSSG Police Sergeant um, Joel Madria okay so siya yung team leader tapos sa members you have to put here kung ilan yung members niya say for example we have 4 members 4 you have to specify kung sino yung mga kasama mo during the dot operation okay sa meter meron ka pang apat na kasama number 1 you have to specify for example police sergeant Gio Ano yung ano yung role niya? Intel operative. Number 2 Police sergeant um Gerald siya naman yung warrant server number 3 for example si police surgeon um si Daira kung mose no siya naman yung investigative officer And then, yung number 4 mong kasama is yung asset or intel na hindi mo pwedeng pangalanan. Okay? So, vehicles used, you have you have to disclo disclose the vehicles used. So, gawa tayo dito ng table. Ano? Baguhin natin siya. Insert. Mm, table. 4 by 4. Insert table. Say, for example, for... Uh, you have to put the type, the make, the color, the plate number. The type, for example, um, XRM. The make Honda. The color blue white. Then plate number, say for example, HR1679. So the type, for example, ito, SUV naman. The make, uh, um, ano ba yung mga gumagawa ng SUV? Mits um, Sige. Honda na lang din. Hindi. Mitsubishi. Hingin natin. Color. Sabi natin bronze. Uh, plate number. CHC. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ano yung isa? For example, Neo. Honda. Color black. And then plate number. H A. To sample lang naman tong mga to. Although H A six five three one. Okay, so you really have to specify it. Para pag nakita nila na dumaan yung mga sasakyan na yan, they know na the surveillance or the operation is ongoing. So we had to add to this portion, kasi hindi nakalagay jan the nature of operation. Of operation. What is the reason? For example, the reason is manhunt. May hinahanap kayong tao. Manhunt, Charlie, aka alias Sabit. Oh, for example, Charlie alias Sabit Gomez. So, yan yung reason kung bakit kayo pupunta doon. You have to put it there. Kung bakit kayo nag uh, meron kayong operation. Pwede din naman ah uh, by bus operation okay and madaming reason eh pwede din namang test by simbukan mo bumili okay 
So, ayun. Madami kayong pwedeng reason. So, iwan ko dun. Sige, test by na lang yung lagay natin. Tapos, duration. Lagay mo dito kung ilan, kung ilang araw kayo magsi-surveillance. Duration of operation. Sabihin natin, one day lang. One. One day. Okay? Received by, kung sino yung magre-receive niyan, dun sa lugar na yun. Pwedeng yung COP ng lugar na yun, ng kabanatuan, although di ko kilala. Kasi diba, operation natin is dang sa sarili kabanatuan city. So, yung magre-receive yung COP of Kabanatuan. So, you have to to put his name here and then a signature. Tapos, magdagdag tayo sa part na to, sa dulo. Uh, ito naman yung pifil outan ng re-receive. Okay, sa part na to, lagay natin ito yung first part. Ito naman second part. To be accomplished, para mapareceived, diba? To be accomplished by the receiving territorial Police Territorial Police Unit. Okay? So, una, they have to specify the date or time received. So, pag pinareceive mo yan, ang magsusulat dito sa part na to, yung tagadaang sarili, yung kabanatuan City Police. Kung kailan nila na-receive yung coordination, for example, uh, October 25 nila na-receive. October 25, 20, 21. Tapos, name of the receiving personnel. So, kung sino yung nag-receive sa police station, ilalagay lang yung pangalan dito. And then, name of receiving unit. So, lagay natin, for example, Kabanatuan Police Station. So, para lang ma-acknowledge and then they have to they have to sign it. Kailangan nilang pumirma dito. Signature. Para lang ma-acknowledge na na-receive nila yung coordination. Okay? Para kung ano, kung ano man ang mangyari, di ba? Kung ano, ano man ang mangyari, they will be liable for this. Kasi kinoordinate naman sa kanila eh. Meron naman proper coordination. So you have to submit it to the Territorial Police Unit and pa-receive mo para sigurado na natanggap nila. Okay? That's very important. Para ma-alerto din nila yung grupo nila just in case malaki yung operation. Sige. Okay? So that's all for this sample format discussion. Ano? Please wait for another lecture series later today. So we'll be, I'll try to finish as much as I can today. Three to four activities will be posted today. Wait for your activity via Edmodo. So uh, as per the instruction, you just have to fill this out. Yung, uh, itong form na ito. I'll, I'll post the facts on your Edmodo accounts. Okay? Thank you so much for listening. God bless us all.